This was right after meeting Police Commissioner O'Neill, and he gave me um, a special badge. One Jennifer DiMondo dreamt of holding all her high school years. Every year I was trying and trying, and every year I got you know a higher award. And every year the police officers just say, oh, I think one day, you know, you'll be PC. That day came earlier this week when the high school senior and other awardees were sworn in as honorary commissioners. Then they went with NYPD top brass to spend a day in uniform, but she got the top prize, shadowing James O'Neill. Here I am sitting at police commissioner's desk. I'm looking up to him. <laughs> every year the Police Athletic League sponsors a contest, asking young people across the city to address a pertinent issue in an essay. This this year it was substance abuse. Now my pleasure to introduce the police commissioner for a day, Jenna Fiordemont. But it wasn't that easy for Jenna. My first draft, wrote a second draft. For the past three years, she's won everything but PC. Her hopes high this time around. It took me a, a few hours to actually get words on the page. After finally submitting it, weeks passed and other friends received letters. She started to panic. Every single day I was running to the door to check the mail. I was checking my voicemail to see if I got a call. Instead, she got a call to go to Bishop Kearney's office. Ten police officers personally told her the news. They said, oh, I have a feeling it's Jenna because she was determined <laughs> for four years. I really was. Determined because in addition to having the utmost respect for the dress blues, she's a fan of Blue Bloods, the hit TV drama series about the NYPD. She wanted nothing more than to have a behind the scenes look behind the real PC's desk. I told him, I said, oh, it's just like Blue Bloods. <laughs> and he said, no, not really. And I said, no, it is. Reporting for Currents, I'm Michelle Powers.